Hey everybody, James W. Falcon here for the fifth installment of my series, Defining Moments. So now what I wanted to invite you to do is I want you to connect all of the dots that we went over in the previous segments. You had a traumatic experience. It was a horrible experience. You jotted yourself down some notes as to what you were thinking, doing, and how you were relating to people during the moments of that horrific experience. You also made yourself some notes in comparison to you and your state of mind, your mannerisms, your interactions with others, your perception after the traumatic experience. Then what we invited you to do was, with those notes, to envision yourself sending them as a set of instructions to a person or a group of people who could best benefit. Then we invited you to take a look at the delivery process. How are you going to get those notes to that person or that group of people that can best benefit from your experiences? So today what I want to invite you to do is to look at all the dots and connect them and see this. You suffered through something. You now understand that it has impacted you. You know who and what you were before the event, and now you know who and what you are afterward. So now what you're going to do is instead of internalizing that, you want to be outward in your uh, passion to want to help others. You want to help others to learn how to cope. You want to help others from a preventative standpoint. And you want to help others in teaching them how to walk again after the traumatic experience. So now you have yourself a blueprint, a platform to be able to take that pain and to purpose, it, to give it a direction, to be able to help other people. Once you've figured out the delivery process, maybe perhaps some platform of social media, maybe face-to-face -face interactions, maybe counseling of some sort, or maybe just doing an off-the-cuff conversation to people that you come across, people in your family, people that are friends and co-workers, to be able to share with them bits and pieces that you have now made as tidbits of encouragement to help others that you identify as having experienced some type of trauma or some type of trouble. So what you've done is, is you have not allowed this horrible experience to just and only leave you in a horrible state of mind. And I guarantee the more that you reach out, the more that you are others minded, the healing, the help, the strength and the encouragement that you need as an individual will grow larger and larger. I thank you so very much for having tuned in to these segments called Defining Moments. And what I want to also invite you to do is this. Send me some feedback. Let me know if this segment or any of the segments of this series were helpful or not. Please give me some critique. Give me some feedback. What could I have included? What else did you want to hear? I would love to be able to get that kind of information. So send that to me by using the following email. Encouragement is key 2013. That's all together. Encouragement is key 2013 at gmail.com. So stay with me on my YouTube page because many more segments are going to be coming your way covering a variety of topics that are personal and professional in nature. My name is James W. Falcon, and I thank you so much for your time and attention. And do this, whatever it is you do, however it is you decide to do it, get, be, and stay encouraged in all of it. Enjoy the remainder of your day. Take care.